everyone to episode nine of Fur Twin Talks Felician. My guest today, former Felician superstar in softball, it's Nicole Spiegelberg. Recently graduated and now a Felician alum. Nicole, thank you for joining me. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. It's been great. Thank you very much for your time. I just want to start off by saying you had a five-year career. You had an extra year due to COVID that ended the season completely last year. Mm-hmm. And now in your fifth year, which you played very well, your season ended shortly due to COVID. Now, how did you take that personally? Um, at first, I was upset. Like, there really wasn't anything that, like we could do. And it, it like sucked. Like, I got to meet such great people coming into it with this fifth year, like, the freshman class was absolutely amazing. So I wanted to see where it would go. And unfortunately it did get cut short and yeah, it really sucked. It's a bunch of mixed emotions. As you said, you were angry. And then yeah. of course, all the sadness and anger. And I can only relate. It was one of at least seven sports for Felicia that got cut due to COVID, but yeah. uh, it was rough. And we, we talked prior to, as we were about to do this podcast, uh, Melendez took over in, in 2019 and then you had two coaches prior while you was just getting started at Felicia. Now, what's that like uh, during a five-year period where you were coached by three different coaches in one at all at once? Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. It's a lot of different, like, adversity. Like, each coach had, like, a different coaching style. And, like, with the first one, I didn't really get to know him that well because it wasn't really that long. But to have, like, kind of my freshman midseason get told I'm getting another coach, it was, like – okay and then after that coach um resigned I guess I had coach Herb come in and his coaching style was completely different from my other coach so it was like a lot to get used to but he's a great coach and there's nothing I could say wrong about him okay now for those of you who are watching Nicole Spiegelberg hit 42 career home runs and that's a record the record prior to that was 29 I'm pretty sure you know if you had that in the back of your mind but where does that power come from um on genetics I guess I mean my dad he used to play um baseball and he swam so he also had the power to do that and then I guess with all the training and lifting like prior to the seasons and everything I just gained more power and like my legs and everything. So I just used that and kept going. And you have at least three different records broken this year. Uh, was that in the back of your mind or that was just playing your game? Uh, that's just playing my game. I mean, after some of the games where I did break them, like my mom would text me and be like, oh, you just broke this one. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> and your mom constantly liking my tweets and my posts about Felicia. So I love, I love, I love the family um contributions of course yeah and um your sophomore year was I think your best year where you had 14 home runs 122 at bats is that when you started to sink in like okay I can really be the star of this team yeah I mean I my sophomore year I kind of like figured out how to like I guess deal with like college level pitching and everything and I was able to see the ball so great and it just happened and I did pretty well I mean you did very, very well uh, alongside uh, your teammates. And of course, uh, her Melendez being the coach, her daughter, I went to called one game this year, the doubleheader versus Georgian court. And they were the best team in, in the CACC, but I've seen softball, but I haven't really called softball and every single pitch of every single second, it's a rupture of just banter everywhere, yeah. chatter, and a lot of people love that. I wasn't used to it, but eventually, once the game got on, I, I actually fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. When you think of Sam Melendez, the coach's daughter, her passion for the game, how would you describe it? Uh, it's just she's so energetic with everything. Like, every pitch, it's like, okay, Sam, what are we doing next? And she'd just call out these cheers, and we're just right behind her doing everything that she does. Even some of them, we don't even know when we look at her and we're like, what is that? And then she just keeps doing it. And it's, it's just, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Gets the energy going. And I'm going to go all the way back to 2015, 2016. How did the recruitment to Felician begin? Um, actually, my travel coach knew Chris Foy, who was the head coach at the time. And they kind of like talked about it. And then 
I guess the school, they brought the school up to me and I looked into it and that was basically it. It's just through like the coaching, I guess. And you also told me, uh, cause I asked you before I was about to tweet that it, you played first base and you started off the career where you were just hitting, you were an extra or an uh, extra hitter or a yeah. designated player DP. Mm -hmm. Uh, What's the difference for you as far as playing the field and then just hitting? Is there a different type of mindset when it comes to you being in that lineup as either just hitting or you're playing on both sides? Yeah, I mean, with the just hitting part, it's like it's if you like strike out or something, it's kind of hard to like make up for it. Because like playing first, if like I had a bad at bat, I'd go out in the field and try and make it up there. But with just hitting, it was kind of like, okay, how am I going to get out of this headspace that I just like struck out or grounded out or whatever and come back and do good at the next at bat. So that's the, it's a different mindset because you kind of got to be able to deal with just hitting and not be able to make it up in the field, which is difficult for some. <laughs> I'm going to get a little greedy with you here. Out of all the records you broke, what, which one's the most, which one are you the most proud of? um probably the all hits record which was probably the last one that I got because that I mean it's that one's consistency and I was able to do that so it's kind of great was 200 in the back of your mind that that was the goal it was the goal and I was nine short so 191 hits in yep. five seasons mm -hmm. uh it's it's mind-blowing to to know the numbers that you put up this year and just as a whole for your five-year career at Felicia, how would you summarize that into a couple of sentences? I, I mean, it was just amazing. Like, I got to play with Ashley Owens my first two years, and her being probably the best pitcher at Felicia was great, and I was able to play with her. And she was pretty much, like, my mentor, and I would always go to her and be able to play with her and then have her come and coach me the next three years was pretty awesome. And then these last, like, two years, my senior year and my extra year, I was able to play with some people that are gonna do amazing things now, which is phenomenal. All right, I appreciate the time, Nicole Spiegelberg. Good luck with your post-graduation endeavors. Thank you so much for your time and we'll see what happens next for you. Yeah, thank you for having me again, it was great.